Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I am up today with a personal haul and of course I went and spent my 20 bucks with Piggy which is something that I like to do each month and um, the first thing I've got I'm going to try and go in order size and I am going to be creating for the next few days using these because I just want to have the opportunity to use them and share them so I got an alphabet set now, what I forgot to do is I forgot to order the numbers. So I'm going to have to go back and find the find the numbers and order those. But I've got the alphabet. And as you can see, they're all punched so that you can hang them. So you can create little banners or little swags to go into your wreath on your door or anything like that. Or just to hang someone's initials on a gift tag. I just absolutely love them. They're huge. So I'm going to measure them and i don't know I, they should all be the same height but i'm going to go off at an angle and they are one and three quarter inches high obviously the width is going to differ particularly when you get to like the w because that's wider than anything else but they're absolutely gorgeous so i'm looking forward to cutting those out and doing something so that's the first thing that i ordered i will be linking everything below next one i ordered going in size is this gorgeous little pocket die and as you can see it snips that little bit out so that it can tuck in and it's to fit a gift card so you all know what what size a gift card is so i'm going to measure my inside panel which is three and three eighths of an inch and two inches and then this little piece that you can cut if you want to and add a message or something is three and one eighth and cut line to cut line one and three quarters a little tiny fraction over so i'm looking forward to using that and of course once again you don't have to use it for a gift card you know i'm the sort of person that will put seeds or anything in something like that and i will show you my new seed box i went into a uh, tractor supply uh, which is where we get all our dog food from and um, they had a sale on so I got this gorgeous seed tin for I think it was 11 99 but it's quite big it's like 16 inches or something and it's got a wood lid and a nice handle so I will share that with you one of the days but I'm the kind of person make a bunch of seed packets for my own seeds that I collect and just chuck them in my tin right next up is a set of tags because you know me and tags these are just plain ones which is absolutely fine by me and the more tags i have the happier i am and i do like this one because it's kind of it's house shaped so if you've got any little windows or anything like that you can just add to it or you can stamp a little critter and uh, sketch a little doorway or something you can even cut it out with that one and you've got a doorway so you can absolutely turn that into a little house but really lovely and i think the biggest one is this one and that one of course is ticket shaped so i'll measure the biggest one and i believe this one is it and cut line to cut line it's two and nine sixteenths which is a fraction over two and a half i believe that's right isn't it yeah and this one is two and a half fraction over again so just lovely lovely tags next up i love things like this and i'm the kind of person that will buy these whenever i see them and in any size because i have lots of washi tape and i do love washi tape even though you rarely see me use it i'm more likely to use washi tape and my little scraps of paper rather than waste them if i can cut them out with something so you know i'd run my washi tape um different colors or what have you on a sheet of cardstock and then use something like that to cut it out and I make bumps in planners, uh, which is adding a little bit of foam underneath so that you can have something dimensional on your page so that when you close your planner, you're not crushing um, the dimensional object that you put on it. So I do like to make little bumps on my planner pages. But as I said, you know, if you want something that looks like it's got a bit more oomph to it, you can put your washi tape onto cardstock and then use a die to cut it out. And I do apologise about my throat this morning. But these are really sweet. And the biggest one is 
And of course you can stamp on them, you know. Uh, two, and, two and three quarters, because I've got a longer bit here. So that's the longest one. And then clips. You know me and clips. I've got to have clips. Whenever I see clips, I go clip mad. So you've got to have something to stick on your page. That's what I say. So I've got this shape, which is the fish tail. I've got a heart shape, which will, you know, go sideways on or upside down. Two little washy pieces again. I've got the triangle one and I have a star one. So just simply for cutting out, stamping, sticking in your little mini journal or anything. And I do believe the widest one in this set is the triangle. So I'll measure the width on it. And we are at one and nine sixteenths, which is a fraction over one and a half inches, but it's lovely. I think this one is the longest, and that is one and a half inches, so really lovely size. Great for putting on your memdexes to hold your little bits of ephemera on. And then I've got the travel clips, so I've got this shape and I've got the circle shape, and then I've got the I don't know what that is, is that the um oh somebody told me once is it a magnifier or a root finder symbol or something <laughs> you can tell me below i haven't got a clue i've got a little camera i've got a little train or a tram it's on the tracks there and then i've got a little coach or a bus i've got my plane i've got my car i've got an arrow and that is a ship at sea there you go so you've got your little tiny waves and there's the steam coming out of it. So it's a steamboat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> so really love that one. And then I've got myself two sets of tags, seasonal ones, but they're very matchy matchy. And my first one is a Christmas set. I do love these long stick type tags. We've got an embossed snowflake, a cutout star and a cutout tree. And then you get all your little icons that you can hang from your ribbon as well. So you can see there, snowflake, gift, tree, glove, a little house, a little stocking. And then you've got a little sprig of greenery. So really looking forward to making those. And then I've got the spring version. I didn't see any other version, but I kind of squished them up in the pack. If I straighten them out a bit, you might be able to see, or I might be able to. But you've got a watering can. You've got, um, oh, what does that say? I don't know what that says. I've got to cut it out. Sweet, that's what it says. Ah, sweet, so that's sweet. So you've got a watering can, sweet, a tiny little ladybug, and a little birdhouse. And we've got a butterfly, we've got a heart, and we've got a little green tree leafy sprig that will cut out there and a sprig of greenery with that one so as you can see really they are a set so seasonal love those and last but not least a really sweet little winter set and it's a little coat it's a little ugly sweater or a cardi you can stamp on these or use pattern paper then go in and fussy cut you know the little cuffs out so they're a different colour and just stick them back on. You've got the little woolly hat and you've got the mittens. Real deep emboss on those. Really love that. Really sweet size. And I think the longest piece might be the sleeves on, uh, on this little sweater. So if I go from the collar to the bottom... We are at one and seven eighths of an inch, which is almost one and a half inches. And I like to do cut line to cut line, not the size of the metal. So that's how big that is. And then if I do the little bobbly hat, and if you've got any photos, that's one and a quarter inches. You know, and you've got a photo in an album, you can stick a little bobbly hat on, on top of uh, somebody's head in their photo to, you know, kind of soup up your little photo album. But I love this little coat absolutely gorgeous you can get um, a brayer out and you can roll ink over the surface of that and then send it through like letterpress so that you've already got it inked up and ready for you and then just a little bit of watercolor just gorgeous love it 
right that is my haul and i'm going to be making for the next few days with that so do come back and join me and i hope you have an absolutely awesome day as usual all links below bye